Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. It's Zach. It is getting a little hot in here, so I had to roll up my sleeves. I've just been filming all day for you guys. I love doing it for you. Today's video, I'm going to jump into a new face wash that I've been trying and absolutely loving. It's by L'Oreal, and for some reason, I believe that there is a sort of negative connotation online for L'Oreal, and I don't know why, but this is my first product that I've tried from them. I love it. Let's jump into it. Now, I haven't heard anybody online talk about this. I haven't seen any reviews. I don't know why. Maybe people just don't like it or haven't tried it. This is a new product and it is a glycolic acid 3.5% in salicylic acid face wash. Let's read a little bit about this on L'Oreal's website. So it is $12.99. I paid $10 on walmart.com and you get 6.7 ounces. I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price point, especially for a product that I haven't really seen before. I have never seen a BHA AHA cleanser, BHA being salicylic acid and AHA being glycolic acid. I haven't seen that combination in a drugstore cleanser yet until now. So it says on the L'Oreal website, resurface your skin and prepare it for your serum application in one simple step. A daily exfoliating cleanser that resurfaces, removes excess oil and makeup to reveal smoother, brighter skin. That all sounds really amazing. It says that the result you'll get is impurities, oil, and face makeup will be removed, pores will look minimized, and the skin will feel hydrated and refreshed. Skin is resurfaced, it appears smoother, brighter, and feels prepared for serum application. It is allergy tested, paraben free, fragrance free, dye free, mineral oil free. I'm not really impressed with a lot of those claims. I love for it to be cruelty free, but whatever. I recently was in the drugstore and I went down the L'Oreal I went down the skincare aisle and went to L'Oreal. A lot of their skincare products are really expensive. I do think that they're effective, but I saw a vitamin C serum for like $32. Are we at Sephora or CVS? Anyways, I have really been enjoying this cleanser. I've actually been using it in the morning, so I can't talk about how it removes sunscreen or tinted sunscreen and makeup and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I use it in the morning. I, I usually use a salicylic acid face wash in the morning. And so I've switched out with using this in the morning. I do like the glycolic acid. I definitely feel like it helps clear out my pores and exfoliate my skin. Sometimes at night or even in the morning, I will use glycolic acid or a lactic acid to kind of help exfoliate my skin. So I really do appreciate that this is an all-in-one. In order to use this product, I would recommend putting it on the skin, leaving it on for a minute or two, and then washing it off in order to see results. This is going to be the best for people that have oily and acne-prone skin. If you have dry and sensitive skin, I think this might be a little bit too harsh for you, but it's definitely worth a try. Let's go over some ingredient callouts. So obviously we really like that it has the salicylic acid and the glycolic acid. It doesn't say how much salicylic acid in it, which I don't really like because I, I want to know what's going on, especially with products now like the Inky List and the Ordinary that are so transparent about their skincare ingredients and how much percentages is in their skincare. I really want other brands to do that as well. Other ingredients callouts we have is glycerin, which is going to be hydrating, aloe vera, which is also another humectant, just like glycerin, it's going to just kind of hold water onto the skin, uh, make it less stripping. It also does a citric acid, which is going to exfoliate as well a little bit, 3.5% glycolic acid. But if you recall to my skincare myths video, I'll leave it up here. A higher percentage doesn't necessarily mean it, that it works better. It is a gel-like consistency. And it is a little bit kind of of a thicker consistency. It does foam up a little bit when you're in the shower and do have water on your hands or your face. But that's what it looks like. It doesn't tingle, it doesn't burn on my skin. I have really been enjoying my time with this cleanser. My only thing about this cleanser is that I don't think I could use it on an everyday basis. I think that would be a little bit too stripping and harsh on my skin. Everybody's skin is different. If you're somebody that typically does use chemical exfoliators and your skin is used to them, you may be okay with this. I use a chemical exfoliator once or twice a week and I use salicylic acid about five times a week in my morning face wash already. I'm pretty tolerant towards this. I think I could get away with using it every single morning, but I just haven't. I, I, I plan on using this about four times a week. 
I really appreciate you guys watching. I do have an upcoming video from Target. I'm going to go check out their skincare and I'm going to check out skincare from Versed. So if you are interested in more skincare videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Have you tried anything from L'Oreal and what is with the controversy between L'Oreal? Is it the brand's ethics or is it their products or is it their price point? Or is it a combination? I've really enjoyed using this product. It's reasonably priced. It works well. It's not irritating for my skin. And since it is from L'Oreal, I'm very familiar with their formulas because as you guys know, CeraVe is my go-to for my skincare. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see in the comments down below and I'm wishing you a good skin health. Bye.